guys actually here back again with a brand new video and this my friends is my full review of the Microsoft Lumia 435. Now to begin with let's get the price of the phone out of the way. Now when I bought this phone and probably even now, the Lumia 435 is probably the cheapest Lumia that you can buy on the market as of right now. It comes in a variety of different colors like green, orange, white and black which I have right here and costs around $100 unlocked and for a price like that it's actually not a bad device. Now talking about the design of the smartphone, it's actually pretty much as every other Lumia phone out there. It has a black glass front and the rear shell is made out of plastic but doesn't feel like a cheap one. The back panel has a smooth matte finish on it and the phone feels pretty comfortable to hold in one hand especially considering the form factor of the device. Now even though the phone is actually pretty thick and pretty lightweight coming at around 12mm and 130g respectively, it actually feels pretty sturdy. Now the back rear shell of the phone is removable and does take a bit of pressure to do so which might not be a very good thing if you constantly like to swap sim cards or SD cards and talking about sim cards and SD cards opening up the shell will give you access to your micro SD card slot that supports storage up to 128GB, your two micro sim card slots and your 15600mAh battery which I'll talk about in just a minute. Now on the left side of the device you have well, nothing with the power button and the volume rockers being on the right side of the phone and are actually pretty tactile. Then on the back of the device we have our Microsoft branding, our speaker which actually gets pretty loud and the 2 megapixel primary shooter. Now on the front of the device apart from that VGF front facing camera and the 3 touch capacitive buttons, we have the display. Oh boy that display. It's 4 inches and comes with a resolution of 480 by 800 with a pixel density of 233 and it's actually plenty sharp for a phone this price. Now without any doubts the screen of the device isn't the best on the market and it's not perfect. But then again for a phone that costs this much, sacrifices had to be made. The colors aren't saturated enough except for some hues like red and orange, viewing angles were bad and outdoor visibility was a problem too. Oh and did I mention that the display is just way over reflective? Well it was. Now like we see with most low end devices the display and the camera are two main areas where costs are safe. And talking about the 2 megapixel shooter on the back of the phone, it's just fine. Not even okay, fine. Not average, but just fine. The photos aren't vivid or sharp, but for sharing them around the web, again, it's just fine. Here, have a look at some of the shots. Now one of the things that actually baffles me is that the camera doesn't allow you to focus anywhere. It doesn't allow you to point and focus on the screen or on the picture, but it does have manual controls. But there is absolutely no point in even using them. Now powering up the whole thing is a Snapdragon 200 dual core chipset clocked at 1.2GHz and is bundled with 1GB of RAM, which for a phone like this was just enough. Now thanks to that awesome optimization in Windows Phone 8.1, zipping through menus and interface was actually lag free and without any issues. Now I've actually done a separate video showing you guys the gaming performance of this device so if you guys are interested I'll make sure to link that just below that like button down below in the description. Now apart from all of that browsing through Twitter and Instagram was a fairly decent experience and I only encountered some lag if there are a lot of things happening in the background like downloading applications or anything like that. Now the battery life on the 435 is actually pretty good thanks to that low resolution display and lack of LTE. Now it got me through the day even with my usage and that is saying something. Now obviously this is not the best phone on the market right now, not even the best budget phone on the market right now, but it's actually pretty solid good option for a low end device if you're in the market for one. It can handle daily tasks pretty easily and has a good battery life and if you really need to use it in an emergency, a decent camera. Oh, and did I mention that this phone is also supposed to get the latest Windows 10 upgrade? Well it's supposed to. So guys that pretty much wraps up my full review of the Microsoft Lumia 435. If you like this video or if this video was helpful to you in any kind of way make sure to give it a huge thumbs up down below. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel as it really does help out a lot and also makes you stay connected with all my latest tech content. Also last but not the least don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat and my Twitter as I'm super active over there and you can also get a behind the scenes look of what's going on the channel. That's been it guys thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.